We want to live in peace. We want to live with dignity. We want to live as human beings. But you know what the problem is? Humans lost touch of this man. We forgot. You know, prior to the pandemic, what were we doing? What kind of places were we going? Were we praying? Or were we cursing? Were we living in the light or in the darkness? Were we going to the church or to the club? Was I with the Lord or with Satan in those dark alleys in the streets? What was I doing? You see, what made this world to fall because the people of this world denied God? Denied God. Church leaders chased after money, fame, prestige, and authority, thrones. They didn't want to sit on the floor anymore because it's an embarrassment for the Pope, for the Patriarch, for the Bishop to sit on the floor. It's an embarrassment. I must sit in a limousine and I must sit on a throne up high and kiss my hand, you followers. We forgot that the head of the church and the only head of the church, Jesus Christ, sat on a mule to enter Jerusalem to be triumphant. Sat on a mule, not a limousine. And he didn't have two shirts. He didn't even have a dollar in his pocket. That's why he asked for a dollar when they questioned him, shall we give tax to Caesar or not? If he had a dollar in his pocket, he, would have, he wouldn't have asked. The Lord does not make up stories. But he was poor money-wise, yet he is the creator of this world and the next. His treasure never runs out. But in this world, he said, the birds of the sky have a nest to dwell in. The foxes have places to go and sleep, yet the Son of Man has no place to rest his head on. Yet I am the creator, everything is mine, but in this world, I lived as a total stranger. And the church wants to be like the world. The church is very powerful. We know so many politicians. We've got so much money. We've got so much power. We've allowed Freemason to infiltrate the church. And the result, the church is locked for the faithful to pray. Church leaders became earthly. They became businessmen. <laughs> One guy in America is amazing. He's sitting with another guy like himself. He says, and Jesus told me, brother. They're preachers. And the other guy said, hey, what? What did he tell you? He said, so and so. You need to have a private jet. And then I said, why Lord? Where do you think you are sitting and who you are? Who are you? And I said, why Lord do I need a private jet? He said, because you need to carry my gospel to all four corners of the world. You need to fly in comfort. So I got a private jet worth 80 million US dollars. Uh, this Jesus must be very kind and generous. So Jesus came and said to you, get a private jet, $80 million. They will put 80 million shish kebabs in you in the next life. <laughs> Enough of these liars. And millions go to those kind of a churches, mega churches, and they give tithing. To who? To Satan. Not Jesus, to Satan. To liars. To liars. In the name of Jesus, they lie. 